Um, El Guido, Guido Capuano, who I, I referred to, he, he was a mature student and he had, uh, I think he had escaped from Italy right after the war or something like that, and came, came to Canada. And uh, he was a big, gruff guy. <laughs> and uh, he had many ideas, many ideas, many good, many good uh, chemical ideas. That, and in fact, he, he was the, at least that year, he had the, uh, what I would call the best dissertation of uh, anyone when he had graduated. But unfortunately, he was also interested in money. <laughs> and, and so he was always worried about trying to sell this. And I, I just couldn't quite agree with him on that. So but he was an exceptional student. Um, now, a second one was Matt King, who is now in Perth, Australia. And that we worked together on, uh, on sulfuric acid. So I need, I need to discuss with you a little bit. You know, if you have a sulfide ore, you're going to produce some sulfur in some form. And most of it is going into sulfuric acid, which is a marketable product. But uh, nobody really knew how the process worked. And so Matt and I developed uh, I would say a matrix, matrix algebra approach to it, and equilibrium approach to it, and worked all that out. And eventually, we could tell tell the industry how they should uh, arrange their processes. And I'm really quite proud of that. So, and and uh, Matt was a wonderful student too. He was the, he was another best. He had the best what we call preliminary exam. Of the year he was doing that, so he was uh, very good also. Uh, 